Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. Today's love reading will be a you and them love reading where we'll look at your connection as a whole, what's going on there, and then how do you feel about each other? What are the energies between you and this other person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? So let's jump right in for Sagittarius. For Messages please for Sagittarius regarding love regarding the person they are connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about this connection, about how they are thinking, feeling about each other? Let's start with the mutual energies between you and this other person. Spirit, first Sagittarius, please. What is going on between Sagittarius and this other person? Okay, I got three. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. So something's up, something has happened. There has been some sort of argument, disagreement, not seeing eye to eye, interferences, conflict, drama. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So communication, talking about this perhaps, clearing the air, tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Oh my gosh, I keep getting a ton of cards. Six of Pentacles, King of Swords, and Six of Cups. I feel like this is someone that wants to repair this or fix the issue, balance this out. Maybe because this is a very special connection, a sweet connection. This could be somebody from your past, a past soulmate. But um, whatever this is, this is a serious conversation with the King of Swords here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. There's, you know, no beating around the bush with them. They get right to the point. The King of Swords. Hmm. All right, so let's get some energies out here to see what else is going on in this connection. What else can you tell us, Spirit, regarding this connection between Sagittarius and this other person? What do we need to know about this connection? Restoring balance. Yes, this is about harmony, resolution, resolving the problem between you and this other person. What else? What else do we need to know about this connection? Bountiful harvest. There's a lot of potential here and walking away. Someone could have walked away because of this issue. I think that was a mistake because I think that this had a lot of potential. Yeah, Burdened Heart is at the bottom of the deck. So I don't think that someone, whoever walked away, I don't think that they're happy or that they, I don't know, it, it, it almost feels like a mistake. So let's look at either of your energies here, Sagittarius. I'm gonna look at your energy separately from this person. Um, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Please ignore my dogs in the background if you can hear them. Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius. What are their thoughts, feelings, energies in this connection with this other person? Seven of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting unbothered. I'm getting blocking, resistant, unafraid. I feel like you, your conscience is clear is what it feels like here. I feel like that's why this person is coming to you as a king of swords, knight of swords, because I don't think that you're interested in anything but the truth. Wow, two of, two of cups and then there's temperance, your energy, Sagittarius. So I feel like deep down, you're open to the idea of resolving the issue between you and this person as long as it's done right. You're not going to jump into anything right away as long as they're willing to take their time, as long as you're willing to be patient with each other, really talk things out, really communicate well. I feel like that's the only way that you would entertain um, a resolution. All right, let's see, what else? What else for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? By the way, I'm using all of my own decks today. 
uh, Oracle decks. So if you're interested in any of these, I'll have them linked in the description box. They're all available on my Etsy shop. Tell me about Sagittarius. Nope, okay. I can only pick one when it feels right. Something there. There may be something there that wasn't there before. New love, realizations, second chances. Yeah, I think in your mind, you would give this a chance. Um, abundance, stability, and treasure with pot of gold because this did have potential before. I think that this could have gone the long haul or whatever that phrase is. There could have been a really nice, stable uh, connection that came out of this if it hadn't been for whatever happened here. I'm getting that this was someone that was really dumb. Like it was a really dumb mistake. That's not gonna be for all of you, but I'm getting that very strongly. Like someone that's kicking themselves here because they, they might've walked away perhaps due to pride or ego and it was a mistake. Let's get a PS I love you for you. What else? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? What is their energy? I know what love is because of you. Very special connection between you. I think you taught this person a lot of things. Love Everlasting is at the bottom of the deck. This is one of my favorite cards of this deck. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is a very special connection. And I think you know it because the Two of Cups is here on your side. Like, you know that this is, these types of loves don't, or connections don't just happen every day. Okay, tell me about this other person. This person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What Sagittarius? Page of Pentacles, okay, so I feel like this person, um, I the Page of Pentacles reminds me kind of of the Temperance card starting off small, asking you out on a date, let's meet up, let's have a drink, let's have coffee, let's discuss, not jumping into anything like right away. Tell me more about this individual. Page of Swords, yes. Do you wanna talk? This person just wants to be uh, open and honest with you about whatever it is that they need to be open and honest with the other. I think honestly, they're just gonna admit how dumb they were. That's how I would start. Yeah, Knight of Cups, uh, Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Their intention I think is to step things up, but I think you're, what you're getting here is an apology, an honest apology. Like I was really dumb. I thought I knew what I was doing, but clearly I wasn't. That's the energy I'm picking up here from this person. What else? Tell me about this person's energy when it comes to Sagittarius or this connection. Magic lamp, wishes, choices, desires. Yep. I think in their mind, they're like, wow, this is like my biggest, it's like a, a, fan, a dream come true if Sagittarius does decide to give me another chance. Dream come true for me. Yeah, mountain, obstacles, difficulty, challenges, because it's not gonna be easy. This is gonna take work to rebuild trust and all of that. Karmic lessons, judgment at the bottom of the deck with enchanted rose, definitely. This person made a dumb mistake. Like that is a very clear energy. Maybe they learned a karmic lesson. Like they learned a lesson the hard way is what it sounds like here. Can you get some more um, insight please into this person's heart space? What do we need to know about what they're thinking, feeling when it comes to Sagittarius? Everything reminds me of you and in that picture, I have someone looking at someone's social media. So this person could be looking you up because they have the page of swords here. And sometimes that's like keeping tabs on you, uh, maybe messaging you through social media, looking at photos of you. 
what else what else do we need to know about this person and what they're thinking feeling when it comes to Sagittarius no contact okay so that will make things difficult that's probably why the king of swords and the knight of swords showed up and the page of swords um, all the contact cards I feel like showed up here the only ones missing is like the page of cups but I feel like um that's why this is so important because I don't think you guys have really talked about what happened I think someone's pride and ego got in the way here what's behind this I'm just curious yes yeah, sword courage defense conflict this person will need to be very um brave yeah to come towards you because I think the way that they handled the situation um made you think of them differently or you see them differently now or uh, maybe you lost a little bit of respect for them because of the way they handle the situation and i don't think that this person is like ignorant of that i think they know that um so that no contact energy i feel like that's just more um complexity right like it just it adds that mountain challenge energy to the whole situation because now I have to start from scratch. I have to start from zero. One more, please. One more card. Unfinished business. Exactly. Unresolved issues. Unfinished business between you. Because you haven't discussed this. That's why the Knight of Cups is here. Page of Swords. This is a very important conversation. Um, something that really needs to take place, Sagittarius. And I think deep down you would be open to this conversation if this person approaches you in the right way. And let me know if I'm right about that in the comments. You know, Would you be open to talking about what happened with this person if they talk to you in the right way? If they, and, and by that I mean they would admit their stupidity, right? Because sometimes people come to, to us with like half-assed apologies that aren't good enough, right? Like if you did something dumb, it takes a real grown up mature person to admit that they were wrong. And I think in this instance, Sagittarius, you like need to hear that from them or at least have some, have them acknowledge what happened and their part in it. That's like absolutely necessary, I feel, you know? Some of you may have blocked this person because they disappointed you so much and they know that they you know it's like almost like I, i'm picturing someone literally crawling on their knees because they're starting from zero this person with their tail between their legs coming towards you um and make no mistake they are thinking and will be contacting you from what i see here there's just too many communication cards and I feel like this, I don't know, it's it's almost like it's there's too much that needs that that's telling me that's confirming the whole um that whole uh, theme of resolving the issue through communication. There's like too many things here on the board. So, I can't ignore the fact that that's what this person is thinking about doing. Um cuz there's unfinished business between you and they want to address that. Very clear energy there. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this you and them reading. If you're interested in any of the decks that I used today, then check out the description box. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, if it resonated for you, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Um, and that way you can keep up to date with all of the videos that I put out. Uh, thank you so much for all of your support, your likes, shares, subscribes. I really appreciate it. All of you that leave such nice comments or are um, willing to share your story in the comments. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I love reading the comments from you guys. And hopefully I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.